back to 26 Acres Outdoors. Izzy and I just got back from... Porgy fishing. That's right. So we got a bunch of them. We're going to uh, do a little cooking. I don't know how well it's going to come out because it is a little getting dark. So I don't know how much light we got back here. But we're going to get these porgies we got and the ones we kept. We have nine of them in total. Nine good sized ones. And uh, we're just going to clean them up real quick. Clam. And we're going to make some porgy sandwiches tonight. Yum. Oh, they're going to be good. So we're just going to whip these these up. And uh, it's going to do some filming. All right. I'll show you how to uh, how we flay these up. Just going to give them a cut right behind their fin, behind their head. Run your knife right down the back. You'll feel the knife with the, bo the bones. Ah, you'll feel the bones with the knife. And then just, I got a little, a little slow at the beginning because it's been a while since I've done one. Um, but towards the end, I get a little quicker and it gets a little simpler. But basically, you know, you're just going to, you know, you only get a small little chunk. Um, and you just, it's just like flaying a bigger fish is just smaller and there's not much to get. But normally we'll just, you know, slice right by the head, behind the fins, down on an angle. We'll see further in the video. I go down on an angle to like where its butt is and then run the knife along the back. You kind of cut that out and then you get stuck with it, with the skin, skin her off. And then that's it, not a whole lot to it. Just, you don't get big pieces of meat. That's why tacos and uh, sandwiches, you know, put it over rice, stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty good for it. It is a tasty fish. We do like it. I apologize, it's a little dark, but the pile's getting smaller and smaller. Okay, so now we're down to, what I did was I just got the flays out with the skin on them and I made a pile and you'll see me, I know it's hard, it's dark, but you'll see me, I'll just kind of, you know, work the work the meat off of the, uh, the skin and then you can see I cut a V notch. One, two, like that. And what that is, is there's a little strip of bone left in there and if you just do that little V, now that piece of meat has zero bones. I'll do a better video of next time we go of just that. Look, it is getting a little late, but uh, so we got our, our uh, porgies all flayed up. They're not very big pieces, but that's why sandwiches or fish tacos. Um, so what we're going to do is, Izzy just wants salt and pepper on hers. I'm going to put some cayenne pepper and some Cajun seasoning on mine. Then we got them on hard rolls, lettuce, some tar sauce, and some American cheese. They're actually really good in wraps. Yeah. Those are good. I forgot that that's how we normally do it, but we were kind of rushed on the way out. Had yeah. stopped at the grocery store, and I figured, let's make fish sandwiches. But they're good because little tiny pieces, so it works out really well for fish sandwiches or tacos. Okay, one other thing I forgot to tell you. We normally do we got our we got our butter in there, and we're just gonna take yeah uh, some minced garlic. That's hot. With our butter or oil, if you want to use whatever you want to use, so that's what we do. Yep. You don't this. Done with that. 
And now we're just going to lay in enough for her sandwich. baby piece right here. Perfect, that's enough. You want a little salt and pepper, you say? Yep. Please. How's that? Good. Perfect. Voila! Voila. I'm going to turn it back up now that we got ready. And it'll cook pretty quick because they're small. It's thin. But just like any fish, it'll start turning white. And flip it and serve it. And you get to eat it first. No. It goes from this to this. It's good. And then to this. Mm. <laughs> Here's Izzy's. You want to show them what it looks like inside there or no? Got your melted cheese. Okay, that doesn't look so hot, but it's good. All right, you give yours a taste. I'm still waiting to cook mine, so mine's still cooking. Tell us what you think. What do you think of porgy? Mm. You good? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. All right, well, I'm going to get to cooking. Mine's got the other spice on it. Uh, like I said, we're going to do tacos next time. Yeah, we'll do tacos. Fish tacos next yeah, time. Yeah, be good. We'll use porky. A lot of different ways to cook this. It's tasty fish, but you don't get a lot of big pieces. Now I remembered why we did wraps. Because it just makes an absolute mess. So good. That's, I just couldn't remember when we went to the store. And we already had wraps. But, yeah. So, I would highly suggest in wraps. My wife actually reminded us of that. But, good stuff. Gotta try it. Go catch you guys some. Eat it up. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and comment down below. Catch you next time.